Do you want to make instant $27 commissions over and over again? If so, check out the automated cash app system. Link below. Wow. Just watch Dave Chappelle's 846 comedy special. Uh, it just like was a surprise, like an Eminem album drop, right? Came out of nowhere. Um, last night, he dropped this. And first of all, before I really talk about it, I want to say shout out to Dave Chappelle. First of all, fuck all that. Shout out Ohio, okay? Because then, you know, I live in Ohio too. Dave Chappelle live in Ohio. So, you know what I'm saying? We got that going. But anyway, shout out to Dave Chappelle for even putting this on. That was so dope. If you watched the video, if you haven't watched it, watch it. If you already watched it, you already know what I'm talking about. Just the way they did it. It was only like a half an hour long. But damn it, it was so dope the way they had it set up, you know, set up outside. They really focused on social distancing. Everybody had masks on. I don't understand why motherfuckers can't just wear a mask, man. Okay, now I'm off subject, but damn. All you people out here like, I don't want to wear masks. The, the, the virus is still real. The shit's real. Okay, anyway, I digress. But anyway... So he does this, this uh, you know, like comedy show, whatever. Uh, it was a weird vibe. It was like a, it was just weird, right? But, but it was dope. I mean, I liked it. And it was like really showing Dave Chappelle on some serious shit. A couple of times I, I thought he was just like, just gonna fucking just go all the way off and just be like, fuck comedy. I'm just gonna spit this shit. But pretty much like, it seemed like that's what he was doing just really coming from the heart like really trying to get off his chest how he really really feel and then he would sprinkle some funny shit in there right because when he first started talking when he came out just talk about like an earthquake and when he was in back in 93 and the earthquake and i'm up here i was first watching like what the fuck what are you talking about right but then i realized that's how dave chappelle do he'll he'll tell a story and you kind of listening and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, shit, like, this was the point of that, you know, beginning, I guess that's what comedians do, but, yeah, man, in, in that intro, when he told that story about the, the, the earthquake, and how he felt for, like, 35 seconds of fear, versus eight minutes and 46 seconds with a damn knee on your neck, right, for some racist-ass cop, right, and he, his emotion that he showed was like, damn, you could, you could feel that shit, right, um, but then another thing that he, you know, he talked about was the whole Candace Owens thing, which the internet really blew that up. It was like Dave Chappelle goes at Candace Owens, da da da. Yeah, I mean, he said some shit, which is he was right. But it's like all he said was he said, "Oh, I, he, I don't care if George Floyd personally kicked her, personally kicked her in their stank pussy, right?" And he was like. I don't know if it stank, but if it does, I'll let you know. Like, so it was a joke, but you could tell he don't fuck with Candace. It was a joke and it was funny. Um, you know what I mean? But overall, and then he talked about Don Lemon, which was dope because I actually seen what he was talking about when Don Lemon was on his show and he was basically calling out the celebrities and was like, yo, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Right? That's what Don Lemon. He was coming from the heart. And at the time, I was fucking with Don Lemon. Like, yeah, where is these motherfuckers? But then, when you really think about what Dave Chappelle was saying, he was basically saying, where the fuck am I? I'm right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, what can I do? I'm just a man. I'm just a normal dude who just happens to be a comedian. Or if you're an actor, you just, you just, you just act. If you want to go out there and support and protest and march as a human, then you should be doing that. But his take on it was your celebrity shouldn't have to do shit with what's going on, right? His thing is the streets just need to hear from the streets. You know what I'm saying? And after hearing that, I'm like, yeah, you do got a point. Because he said in there, he's like, do anybody really give a fuck what Ja Rule think? Or do anybody give a fuck what Dave Chappelle think about? And realistically, no. Realistically, it's like, who get, like what can they say to make me feel... Um, you know, better about fucking racism and the dumb shit that's going on. Really nothing. Now, if Don Lemon is saying on a level of if you're a celebrity, you do have some influence. Maybe he means like if you're a celebrity, you should be on your Twitter like, yo, 
let's go protest, right? Like protest, blah, 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 blah. Then maybe Don Lemon meant that. Like, you know, because a lot of people are gullible as fuck and they'll listen to their celebrity. They'll listen to their their idol musician. They'll listen to their superstar, their favorite basketball player, whatever. So maybe that's what Don Lemon was talking about. I don't know, right? Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it was, I thought it was good. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, it's fresh. I'm sure this shit's gonna get a ton of views. You know, from I think it was released free on. Uh, Cause I just watched it free on YouTube. So, but yeah, it was dope. I liked it. I thought it was cool. It was serious. It made sense. Um, you know, I, I think the shit he was saying definitely is is real it's like he was talking from a, a real black person perspective and you know really saying like what a lot of people feel you know what i mean what's going on is like it's fucking sad that in 2020 we still got to be talking about hey as black people hey 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 we matter too you know like i i, I get the whole black lives matter i do but it's like, fuck, like, why do we still got to say this at this point? Like people like are, this speaks on that country. This speaks on the fact that how racist this shit really is. If we as black people, as much as we accomplish, as much as we do, we still got to put our hand up and jump up and down. We still got to get together and make signs and shit just to let motherfuckers know we here, just to let people know we got value. Really, we shouldn't have to do that because it actually speaks for it fucking self. It speaks for itself. Look at people like Dave Chappelle. Look at Barack Obama, right? Look at LeBron James. Uh, uh, you know, look at all of these successful black people. Um, and we, you know, we, we, we trendsetters and shit, right? Music, everything. And we still got to make signs saying we matter and shit. But we all know that yeah, we fucking matter. I let the chain hang, yeah, I'm tattered up, and I love to cuss, I just don't give a give a f See, I'm just doing me, and you should do you, yeah, I hear you talking, that's just your point of view, and see, I just don't care, I be like, mm, yeah, I done heard it all, damn, there's haters everywhere, and it keep me motivated.